happy to become an insider. Thanks for being with us. So the interview will be honest, interesting, and informative. In the interview with me on the question of how Georgian government was doing about Ukraine, Ambassador Dolgov answered, quote, Maybe this is the case when we need no additional reassurances that we are together. End of quote. Why does UNM ask for additional reassurances when the ambassador says the opposite? You know my relationship with Ukraine, right? I used to serve for that country and I consider Ukraine as my, as my second homeland. But unfortunately, as UNM, as a party and as a person, uh, as a citizen in Georgia, I don't consider Georgian position as a state position enough to support Ukraine. Georgia recalled the Ukrainian Georgian ambassador for Ukraine, and uh, it was kind of last year. And this is a kind of very strict and tough measure in the relations of two states, and it's not the example of the good strategic partnership. Second, we'll remember uh, the statements about Maidan uh, when uh, some of the officials have been making very disgraceful statements regarding Maidan and the fight of Ukrainian people. Well, you remember Gafa Galaz's uh, statement that uh, you know it's a crisis that is not going beyond uh, Bushev's history. Uh, last uh, but not least is uh, resolution. Georgian Dream uh, was not able to put uh, the Russia Federation as an aggressor uh, in, into the resolutions. And the Prime Minister, I mean, he never visited Ukraine, never uh, made a real, you know, just open support. I mean, this very hard time. Oh. I consider it's much more diplomacy, right? I mean, he's very much experienced ambassador. And also, it is very much important to understand that a national strategic interest, you know, is above everything, all political and internal confrontation. So that's why it's diplomacy. So I appreciate uh, his uh, very diplomatic and very important votes. So important, especially in this hard time for Ukraine. The United National Women rejoins the parliament, creates investigating committee for the case of Saka Spirit. Then, most likely, the ruling party neglects all your efforts. And after that, you start massive protests. Unless the West pays you enough attention to begin the next round of negotiations to release Sakashvili from prison. Should we say that I correctly put the plans of UNM in order? First of all, we have to understand that um, uh, we need this kind of investigation commission regarding uh, Mr. Sakashvili. It's like the degrading and inhuman uh, behavior treatment from the government because, you know, we don't have any independent. Uh, investigation body. Uh, so, and unfortunately, there is no rule of law, independent judiciary and independent institutions that can really um, be the kind of ground and the platform for investigation. When we talk about the fight against regime and like about kleptocracy and Bezina Ivanishvili's regime, let's say so, I mean, Georgia is classical kleptocracy. We have to understand that the, all activities are so much important and essential. Within the parliament, we have we need uh, contact with our international partners. Street protests and the parliament and the, some other works, I mean, the ground works and the field works, I mean, they are feeling each other. So that's my perception and my view. So, I mean, yeah, outside protests, I mean, inside and all kinds of, you know, grassroots work, it's, it means a lot for and it, it, it is very valuable for the party. I doubt that, you know, I mean, uh, our partners will uh, initiate some kind of uh, negotiation process, but we will be the part of the, any useful process with our partners and in, in coordination with our partners. The Orgi Gaharia is a project of Ivanishvili, said the MP Junatin Bokucheva on 14th of April 2021. It's 2022 and we have some city councils governed by the coalition of your party and the party of Gaharia. If we consider your fellow party members' words as correct, doesn't it mean that you've trapped yourself by yourself in the trap of Ivanishvili? Well, I have my own uh, um, attitude about Mr. Gaharia, and everybody knows that. I mean, especially after the 20th of June, this is not kind of uh, a respectful, uh, you know, um, 
attitude that I can say. But if uh, Georgian dream will lose majority, uh, and it's happening in Rostov, it happened in Zubizi too. So it means that the, we can really just, you know, have this kind of resistance with the Sakura Bulo. So, and this is the first time, by the way, I mean, during this, uh, since 2012, that GD as a ruling party is losing some kind of influence, right? I mean, locally. So, um, well, let's see. I mean, there is a political process and they have to prove themselves as the real opposition, right? So actually, I mean, yeah, despite all this uh, past, we only want to really resist the ruling party. That will be the, my answer. But I'm afraid that if it's artificial, you lose many things. Well, I mean, uh, I we are not in any kind of coalition. In this process, it is very much useful to really leave them in the minority in big cities in Sakura Bulgaria. For the future process, I really do hope that, that they will be the real opposition. The coalition will save us. The coalition is all we need. For past two years, that's the only offer from the opposition to its supporters. But past 20 years have a different story to tell. In 2003, Saakashvili, Ujanaze and Jvania unofficially created a coalition and they won. But in 2008, no one but Saakashvili was in power. Then it was 2012 and the official coalition Georgian Dream claimed the victory. After four years, nothing but Georgian Dream as a separate political party remained. Why should I, as a citizen, trust you when both coalition attempts ended up being disappointing for the people? Absolutely, I'm sure that the Georgian democracy always uh, only, you know, just uh, uh, goes through the coalition government. That's my very firm position as a politician. And also, I coalitions not only uh, within the government, but also we need the very well balanced of power and the checks and the balance. So yeah, we will be fighting to have the coalition government. We understand that the huge responsibility on us as one of the biggest opposition party, but also we have to understand that if we want to really defeat Bidzina Ivanishvili, and it's not really easy because he's a guy with a lot of money. So then we have to be united. And at the first stage and the second stage to really have these democratic waves uh, within the coalition. I do hope that it will work, not only while coming to the power and then have the fake coalition, but no, it will work as to have the very good balance of government. And the very last question. When Georgian Dream declared a cohabitation process between two major parties, the decision was highly disapproved by its supporters. If one day you reclaim the power, we will see the payback for that risky and democratic decision. Maybe we should call it cohabitation too, Bonga. Definitely. The political revenge must be finished. This is number one rule for us. The second, I mean, uh, if GD will be in opposition, we have to learn how to work, uh, I mean, with the opposition and to have the real opposition. I, so I do hope that, that they can remain as a real opposition in the opposition because right now they're the party which doesn't have kind of ideology, but you know, around the one oligarch, right? Yeah, actually, I think that the cohabit. I don't, I don't like this word cohabitation. I just like the word rule of law and democracy. So, and we have to be in importance of this very, to um, very important uh, concept of the future. Miss Hadia Bekanoite, thanks for thank being you very with us. much.